We're talking with Nicole Mira, who is an English teacher at Animo Watts Charter High School in Los Angeles. And I'm particularly excited to talk to you, Nicole, uh, because what you are doing is really at the heart of what DML 2013 is uh, about. So I understand that you have, are working with 11th grade high school students to combine literacy education with meaningful civic education. How do you do that? Well, that's, the, that's the holy grail that we're working towards. My goal is to help students use literacy skills not simply to achieve on assessments, but also to advocate for themselves and their communities as citizens. So one way that we are trying to do that is through a year-long research project uh, so all of the students in my class are using their literacy skills to identify problems that they see around them in their schools and communities. And then they're going to use digital media through photo voice, uh, through surveying other students through social media in order to gain valuable information from different stakeholders about those problems and then turn them into full-fledged multimedia research presentations so that they can tell their community what they found from their own perspective and what they think should be done about it. So what are the results you know, well, so far? Been, so with my 11th graders, I just oh, went back into the classroom uh, this month. So we're just starting the research process. But for the last four years, while I was a graduate student, I was doing this with students after school at five different high schools around Los Angeles. And their research has been extraordinary. They have come up with their own definitions of what they believe highly qualified teachers are. That is a little bit different than what we usually hear from politicians. Um, they have researched what an ideal school should look like in terms of leadership, curriculum, resources, and they've actually presented their work to academic conferences uh, such as DML last year. They were very well received. Uh, our student group got to talk about how they use technology uh, in their research and in their schooling, uh, and they've been able to talk to their community and actually get some changes made at their schools. Wow, fantastic. Con congratulations. Thank you. So I, I understand that you're also working with the after school program that, that combines digital media, social mm -hmm. justice, and civic participation with young people. What's that about? Yeah, that's called the Council of Youth Research. And that, that experience is what I'm taking with me now into the classroom as I teach. Uh, and that is a group of high school students from those five schools who work with their own teachers. And they work together across the city in order to advocate for young people having a voice in education policy and for getting young people civically involved. So they are the ones who are kind of our leaders who are inspiring all of us in the classroom. Uh, and they're the ones who have done over a decade of research from the youth perspective using uh, digital documentaries, using Facebook to spread their message, and using YouTube videos in order to sh shed light on the problems that they see around them and to show other youth what they can do as well to make them feel empowered. Fantastic work. What? Um what do you look forward to at uh, DML 2013? I'm really excited about the fact that, uh, that youth are the focus and that we're really looking at how youth are making innovations. Because a lot of times we try to create those supportive spaces for youth, but especially as technology continues to change, young people are finding new ways to appropriate and innovate with all of this technology in ways that teach us so that I can become a better educator and use it in kind of new and creative ways. So I'm excited to see the ways that we can share these innovative spaces with each other and kind of create new platforms as we go. Like, I feel like we're going to be able to start a new movement from, from the date of the conference. <laughs> All right. That's so exciting. <laughs> Good luck. Go for Thank it, you. Nicole. Thank you.